India, a nation on the surge, one of the oldest civilizations on earth, is embracing the dawn of the future. To sustain this growth, India needs oil, a lot of oil, and the ability to refine it quickly and efficiently. Responding to this challenge, the Guru Gobind Singh refinery was set up in a record time of four years, making it the fastest oil refinery to be built in India. Today, what stands in the middle of agrarian heartland of Punjab is an industrial superstructure, powering lives across the country. In the middle of lush green fields of Batinda stands this superstructure, powering lives of millions of Indians across the northern part of the country. There is a deficit of petroleum products like petrol, diesel, LPG, kerosene in this part of the country. So this refinery is catering the needs of the consumer directly as well as the industries so as to give employment and industrialization in this country. When you step into your kitchen at home, Right away you see the stove, the LPG that you use to cook, that's one of the products that we make at this refinery. Anything that you have in your kitchen from the refrigerator to the food in it was transported to your home by trucks that use petro and diesel. It is now noon. In the next 12 hours, 90,000 barrels of oil will be processed at this mega refinery. The daily target is to refine 180,000 barrels of crude, enough to fill 12 Olympic-sized swimming pools. What occupies these 2,000 acres, the size of over 1,100 football fields, is a formidable giant of concrete and steel. This mega enterprise has gobbled over 115,000 metric tons of structural steel, the weight of around 15 Eiffel Towers. This seamlessly active flare beams at a tower standing 140 meters tall, almost twice the length of Qutub Minar. And it does not stop at that. The maze of pipes crisscrossing this superstructure can cover a staggering distance of over 3,200 kilometers approximately the length from the northern to the southern tip of the country. Now this steel structure may stand to dominate the landscape and skyline, but to build this giant steel and concrete structure was a momentous task. Year 2007, Hindustan Petroleum Corporation Limited HPCL and Mittal Energy Investment join hands to form HPCL Mittal Energy Limited and start work under the HMEL banner. Their purpose is daring. Turn a barren piece of land into a mega refinery. Normally, a refinery takes anything upwards of five years for completion. But HMEL aims to get this superstructure ready within four. If achieved, it will be the fastest in India. For building a refinery the of this size and magnitude in a short period of four years, as it was planned and it also it was executed, the major task which, is, uh, which was required was to muster the resources. And we had to, at the extreme conditions, you know, had almost 35,000 employees, work, workmen working at a time during its peak. Creating that kind of workforce working 24 hours a day, if that was not done, we would not have achieved the targets what we had planned for. But dealing with labor and weather is one of the many challenges that come while building a structure of this scale and magnitude. To save precious time, 
an on-site pressure vessel and reactor fabrication shop was created to forge the reactors. But three of these giant reactors required specialized forging plants located over a thousand kilometers away from the installation site and transporting them all the way to Bhatinda was a Herculean task. From refining to packaging to transport, work at this mega refinery carries on seamlessly to meet the demands of over 150 million Indians. As the sun sets, the refinery lights up like a metropolis, like a beam from a lighthouse shining across an empty horizon. Built in just four years, the Guru Gobind Singh refinery is the fastest refinery to be constructed in India. When we started, there was no organization. We were just born in, in 2007 with 10 people. Building refinery was one of the smaller challenge. The bigger challenge was to build this organization. We have people from, from seven countries, 120 organizations coming and helping us. So I will say the crux of this was team. The team was highly motivated, fully enthusiastic, very dedicated, knowledgeable. And now, this superstructure is about to shift gears and further increase its production capacity to fuel the country's energy needs.